Now, so far we've been talking about time pre-colonization, um, and I guess it's probably about time that we address that and, and sort of understand what colonization is, what that means. Yeah, absolutely. So the colonization of these lands first began in 1770 when Captain Cook sailed up the east coast of Australia. He then claimed the land to be the property of the British Empire. Yeah, and then following on from that in 1788, um, Arthur Phillip then um, led the, the first fleet uh, to, to Sydney Cove. Um, with around 800 sort of um, convicts with him as well. Right. Now, it is believed that initially when uh, the settlers first arrived, um, that there were good relations between uh, the Eora Nation, which is the nation in the location where the first fleet arrived in Botany Bay. Um, so it was believed that there were good relations between the Eora people and the settlers. Now, there were records of trade um, and quite friendly communication, um, but there are also records of that quickly devolving um, once the Aboriginal people of that area started realising that the settlers were taking from them. Yeah, and once that, that's, those relationships sort of started to sour, then they started forcing Aboriginal people off their lands. and. So as we can sort of see in this image behind us here, this was sort of the, the Aboriginal people then sort of forced to look from the outside in as, mm. their, as their lands were destroyed. Yeah. Now, eventually, racist policies were designed to either lawfully conduct um, genocide or assimilation practices of the Indigenous peoples here, one such policy was the introduction of the native police in 1837, uh, which resulted in the death of tens of thousands, if not more, um, Aboriginal people across the, the east coast of Australia. Yeah, it's, it's sad. And the impacts of colonisation are still felt today. Um, and they're, they're really immeasurable and they've affected, you know, not only the nations here, but, but all around the world, First Nations have been impacted by these colonisation policies. Absolutely. And because of this, today it is so incredibly important that we acknowledge the struggles that uh, all Indigenous peoples face today and have faced in the past. Um, again, not just here, but around the world. And it's so important that we can celebrate the continuation of these cultures, uh, the communities and Indigenous knowledge systems.